Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Flux Gourmet, which is a new darkly funny horror film coming your way from IFC Midnight and writer-director Peter Strickland, who previously did In Fabric, which I heard some great things about, still need to check that one out. And this film centers around an institute devoted to culinary and alimentary performance a collective finds themselves embroiled in a power struggle, artistic vendettas, and a bit of seduction here at this institute. And it's all told from the perspective of a Greek, Greek man, Stones, played by Macus Papadimitriou, who is dealing with a lot of gastrointestinal issues. He's there to help out this whole entire process. And all the underlying story here is like you're, see, you're experiencing his hardships. And this is where it gets pretty funny, is listening to his Greek voiceover talking about really needing to fart and really trying not to <laughs> in front of other people. And you get the story of his journey throughout here, but you also have Lamina, L, and Billy, who are this collective who come to this institute to work with Jan Stevens, played by Gwendolyn Christie, who has some impressive outfits. And she presents some incredible screen presence and some very interesting acting performance that Christy gives in this film. I think this is some like some of her most interesting work that she's gotten to do since Game of Thrones ended. And she has a very interesting relationship with Billy, the young man in this collective, played by Asa Butterfield. And they have quite the interesting relationship that starts to develop between the two of them seductively. And it's uh, quite an interesting one. And um, this movie's horny in many, many ways. And it mixes that with some food fetishism. And it's weird. This movie is not for everybody. Just putting that out there. But it does have some tense and intriguing and twisty kinds of um, suspense as you feel these power struggles before this between this collective and... Stevens. You have Dr. Glock, played by Richard Bremer, who is quite the presence in this film, and his relationship with Stones, and his interactions with the rest of this collective. And you have these performance art pieces that are strange and abstract, all while Strickland's building up quite the strange and boundary-pushing atmosphere of this film that pushes you to some really disgusting places, some grotesque places, and challenges you with some unfortunate turns of events for some of these characters. You know, it's hard to connect with a lot of them because many of them are not very likable, and you might just feel more like a spectator to this show of, like, insanity, and that might be enough. Like, you might not be able to really deeply connect with this emotionally, which would, I feel like, elevate this film past just being a crazy artistic and cinephile, pleasing kind of experience. But at least from that perspective, I think that this film is bold enough that it offers up plenty for you to really sink your teeth into and did not mean to keep building on the food imagery here, but there you go, you're welcome. But I think Flux Gourmet definitely is not for the faint of heart, not for everybody, but I do think it's an intriguing and engrossing experience that you might want to challenge yourself with and give it a try. But those are my thoughts on Flux Gourmet. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.